guys, so this is another Minecraft video for you today. As you can see from the intro, today is going to be yet another plane video. This is the second one I've made. The first one I made was almost a year ago, and it was a huge hit, so I decided why not try again. So let me go ahead and show you the cockpit. If you'll notice, there are some improved features. Rather than just fences, it looks a lot nicer. We have this glass here, this glass here, and there's bombs that we can drop. Four bombs total, or TNT, if you will. And if you notice, these two aren't accessible until you light either this one or this one. Then they slide back in place to be lit again. So, jumping out of the cockpit. The actual plane design doesn't take that much more resources than the original design. I mean, there are some more pistons, but I think it looks a lot nicer, so I th totally think it's worth it. Now, for this complex that you saw the intro in, it's nothing more than a floating thing in the sky. So this thing doesn't travel upwards. So like my other plane video, you have to start off in the sky. So in case you're wondering how the heck did I start on a field and then go up. And also, one more thing, just showing you this part. If I can, oh my word. All right, here we go. All right, section C, I don't know if you saw it when I came out of the sleeping quarters. It's literally nothing but a hallway with a dead end. So before you guys go and ask any questions about that, that's exactly what it is. So, now I'm going to teach you how to build this. Alright, so to construct this, you'll need everything you can see in my hotbar, plus a boat, because this darn thing wouldn't fit in the hotbar. So, I just destroyed the plane from earlier, and I left the little launching mechanism so we can have something to start on. But, I am building this a little different than usual. I'm not going to attempt to memorize all the complex combinations, so I have two of my clients both opened up in two different windows so I'm going to switch back and forth so if there is a brief pause or cut that is because I'm referencing my other client so let's go ahead and start by placing a sticky piston facing towards you coming back here placing another piston right here next you're going to want to put a slime block right here then you're going to want to put slime block up here piston come out come down, block of redstone right there. Next, we're going to want to put a block of redstone right here. Be careful, don't update this piston or else your thing will fly away without you. And next, let's put a piston right here and a piston right here. Come out, we're going to put a block of redstone here and here. So this is our engine. I'm going to go ahead and reference my other client. I'll be back in a second. Alright, so I left out one part. I have stairs facing up just for show. Doesn't that look nice? I think it looks nice. So up over here, we're going to have a stair block facing like that. Then a block of wood, planks or whatever slime block right there. This is where our TNT is going to be, so let's go ahead and load up two pieces here and here. Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to have our... Let me check my client again. Alright, you guys can totally tell that I know what I'm doing, so let's continue. So after referencing that, you're going to put a glass, stained glass right here. I'm using white stained glass because I think it looks better. Come up here, you're going to have another stained glass, and then we can come out three blocks this way for our windows. Also, it lets you access this TNT right here. Let's go ahead and drive our boat into place. So gonna get rid of you for now. Plop this boat right here and let's have a very anticlimactic drive. Here we go. There. Alright, so boat is in place and it's looking nice. When you place in your boat make sure you go to the far back and also make sure you can access both these pieces in TNT because that is rather important in a bomber plane. So, let's hop back up and Sorry to do this again, guys. Gonna check my client. All right.
right, hooray for stairs, because there's going to be more. So let's go ahead and place stairs. Stair. Slime block. Other block. Upward facing stairs. Downward facing stairs. BAM! We got the fuselage, using the correct vocabulary, of this plane. So let's go ahead and get some wings on this sucker. We're gonna pop out over here. BAM! BAM! Pistons right here. Then we're gonna come on out to here. Five blocks, so two, three, four, five. Pop out over here. Two, three, four, five. Wood stairs. Facing up, coming down. And yes, 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 yes. I know this is not how a wing is shaped. Yep, this is not how the wing is shaped. Other way! Okay. Now, you might be wondering why does that matter? Because of the Bernoulli's effect principle, whatever it is that allows planes to fly. They have to be longer on the top than the bottom, so the air pressure will work the same way. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but I did it anyways. So, let's do this on the other side. Nah. Crap. Oh yeah. What a wing, what a wing. Alright, so we've completed our plane. To hop on in, you kind of go under here, and you can't click on it like I can't. You might have to jump a little bit, and oh, dang it! And then hop on in. Also, let's see if the other side will work. I've never really tried this, but yeah. So if one side doesn't work, the other side works. So now you have this nice plane. Let's go out and hit our button. I have a button just to show you where it's placed. If you come down from the farthest bomb and come over to, I have a block. Make sure you put a button, not a lever, or else it will power this piston. And then I've inverted that and come back over here to this regular piston just to update this. But you can use whatever method you want. This is just easier than having to hit it and run real quick. It also looks nice. So, you hit it. Balls. Never fear, a simple mistake man is here. I left off these two blocks of redstone. Don't do that. Also, I reloaded the world that I had a backup file on because I didn't feel like having to show you guys starting it all over again. I also wanted to ride in this thing. So, if you will notice, different. Yeah, I showed you guys building it like this. You know, I don't really care. It's whatever you think looks good. I'm just gonna change it back just for giggles to what it was. Pretend like nothing ever happened. Now let's hop on in this guy. I believe this is the correct side. That looks you in. Oh yeah. And off we go. So excited. I'll be there someday. Also, don't forget to bring your plans to get out because mainly because I hate the sound of pistons when they're firing like that but so I've noticed that if you're not in the boat and check this out let me see if I can get it to do it if you go far away out of your boat and yep here we go it should be doing it soon yep oh it still has the boat so I can make it do it. oh there we go yeah so if you can manage to get it to get be very far away while it's running and see a glitch out like that your boat will fall through it won't do that while you're in it, so just don't do that. Also, if you leave this running and you log out and then log back in, your boat will also fall through, so don't do that either. But just to show you what it looks like when you drop a bomb, okay, let's see what we get to do. See, it basically just slides over onto the next slime block, and then it gets pushed along. So let's do that again. Let's follow this one this time, though. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's nice. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. I'd really appreciate it. See ya.